Hello guys, this is HD StarCraft and welcome back. This is going to be game two of uh, HD StarCraft's beta cast series. And uh, this one's going to be highlighting the Protoss. Last game highlighted the Zerg. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, I try to bring that out, you know, and highlight the best points of the game and also try to get that out in 1080p. So I hope you guys enjoy this game as well. Uh, one thing you guys might notice that's different, uh, besides the fact that I'm not playing creepy crawly Zerg, is the fact that I'm playing uh, with the health bars turned on now. Now, this is a feature that uh, you can ha set in the in-game menu that I didn't realize before. And similar to Warcraft 3, you can hold alt down. But uh, who wants to do that? Just leave it on all the time. It helps you micro and you know figure out which unit's about close to dying. So now health bar is going to remain on for me. Uh, I think that should help improve my game in the slightest bit. And right here, actually, my friend came to the door or something, so I think I might have messed up on my timing or something, but uh, pay no attention to that. We're all in a learning process. But uh, similar to my last cast, I'm going to pretty much chillax back here and uh, let you guys really intake uh, the feel of the Protoss, get to know the game a little bit um, without me intruding, and uh, really uh, enjoy the atmosphere. So uh, yeah, get some popcorn guys, sit back and enjoy the ride. I like to play in my comfort zone, which means I haven't really tried out any of the new units as of yet. Um, so what I think I'm going to do here is probably going to go for a two gate. Uh, pretty standard build versus uh, versus Protoss versus Protoss. It works to your advantage if you push and be aggressive. Although I'm not sure if I was very aggressive this game in the beginning. We'll see what happens though. Stay on top of your pylons, ladies and gentlemen. You never want to not have enough size. One cool little feature, if you guys see on the bottom of all the buildings, say for example, uh, well the Nexus isn't showing it right now because I'm being dumb and I'm not building any probes, but any building that's constructing something, uh, you, can, you can see under that gateway, there's a blue line that's going from left to right. And of course, as you guys might guess, that's showing the completion rate for the Zealot inside. So that's a nice little feature. You won't have to click the building anymore to see how close it is to being complete. Also, if you guys have noticed, I've turned on Building Selection Grid, uh, also an option in the menu. Uh, which basically, uh, when you place the building, you can see the grid around it, similar to the original Brood War. And like I said, I like to play in my comfort zone. I like to play with what I, I'm familiar with, so I decided to turn that on. I'm, in fact, I'm a little baffled why Blizzard didn't just leave that on by default. So, I don't know. And as you guys probably know already, you need two gas now per base, because uh, Blizzard decided that every expansion, every... every uh, Resource node is going to have to have two bases for uh, excuse me two resource nodes for best peak gas because they've effectively halved uh, how much gas you get. And uh, <laughs> if you guys are listening to that right now, that's actually my uh, brother on Ventrilo. He's giving me some advice right now. He's a Protoss master, so. Uh, <laughs> He basically, he's asking me, did I go 2 gate or did I go 1 gate? Or did my opponent go 2 gate or 1 gate? And foolishly, he did go 1 gate uh, fast gas, so he's obviously teching. I went 2 gates for Zelos. I should be pushing right now and being aggressive. I should have done it a long time ago. But uh, being caught up in the hype of, uh, of being in StarCraft 2, I guess I just forgot my fundamentals. And now I'm facing up against a uh, squad of Stalkers and Zealots aren't very good against Stalkers if the opponent can micro them well. Similar to Dragoons versus Zealots, really. 
so now I'm in a bit of a pickle. I've got a Photon Cannon coming up though, so as long as I can hold this ramp, I think I should be fine. And uh, the reason I decided to upload this game to you guys is because it's got a lot of uh, very interesting micro, I think. Not professional micro, but a lot of small micro here and there that you guys might like. So it shows that StarCraft 2 still has micro in the game. And still an important fundamental concept that pros can definitely take advantage of. So yeah, I do apologize for uh, my brother on Ventrilo, but uh, yeah, he's basically telling me you gotta get Blink on Stalkers to fight Protoss versus Protoss. I'm telling him, yeah, yeah, I know, but I'm leveling plus one weapons on the board right now. So... <laughs> but yeah, now I'm gonna push out, and as I'm pushing out, he's trying to push in, so both of us really gonna be fighting a micro battle here. Very reminiscent, guys, of Zealots and Dragoons. And really, Dragoons are uh, not as easy to control as Stalkers. Stalkers are much easier to control, so that's a nice little boon for uh, Protoss players. So I'm just trying to position my Stalkers up here on this ridge and try to get any pot shots off. Um, and it's important to not get sniped because he's got enough uh, Stalkers right now to really snipe any one of my units with two shots. You, you guys can see pulling back that Stalker that got hurt right there. Pretty basic, you know, micro. But I don't think he dares to really step up onto this ramp with that Photon Cannon in the back. It's gonna provide the, the static defense I really need to uh, kind of shore up my defenses and uh, build up some more units, but the more time that passes right now, you guys know basic StarCraft strat, the more time that passes, he can grab his natural expansion and he can over, uh, over muscle my economy, so I've really got to get on the ball right now, I've got to get more units out, I've got to get that third gateway. So once again, trying to make a push up my ramp. I lose a Zealot there, but I do take out a Stalker, so that's a pretty fair trade, I think. In fact, if not even in my favor. Another Stalker goes down, courtesy of HD Starcraft's Micro. <laughs> so yeah, as I said before, I wanted to upload this to show you guys that uh, Micro is still a very important concept, if not more important in Starcraft, what with the, uh, some would argue, reduced macro now. And I'm interested to see how pros are going to take advantage of that, because obviously they can control this 10 million times better than I can. They could probably have taken two Dragoons and two Zealots and beaten that entire army already. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just getting my tech buildings up right now. I've got a... Um, darn, I forgot what buildings I was building, but right now I am trying to push out. I think I was trying to get Templar Archives out, because I wanted to get High Templar for Storm. And uh, yeah, I do have a Citadel out as well. The Citadel now actually has...